Right now we are going through the whole rebranding exercise, new logos, you see the new colors. Because we're not using the traditional blue and yellow which we had before. Many of the other universities have that. We're now gone into a, a, a burgundy, a navy blue and a white. But we felt that it was important to let our students feel the transition. So we actually chose the 28th of September. Why? Because this is World Maritime Day. We want that to be our birthday. So we choose it for the students to start and feel the transition. And I can tell you they are very much into it. There's a feeling of pride. We've been working towards this, so you have to feel happy. The School of Marine and Professional Studies has the program set up as a paramilitary uh, institutionalized way. So we'd have to go through a series of training, physical activities, drills, and the classroom activity for us to learn how to cooperate with the institute's uh, regulations. How else do we differ from the other tertiary institution? Well, firstly, how we deliver our programs. Most of the other tertiary institutions, you have your programs over the years and you expand them. And you have them developed and they are accredited and you just run them. But what we do differently, we go to the industry, we look where the changes are. Then we develop the course backwards. So we start from where the jobs are, then we work backwards and develop the training program. So we know it's a, it's a perfect fit. And we have to review this annually. So we make the adjustments to meet the needs of the industry. So it's about producing industry-ready graduates. So we're not just an educational institution, we're education and training. We're not just doing research, we're doing applied research, how to solve a lot of the country's problems and the region's problems. One thing, your course will produce graduates that are in demand. You used to be hearing about being a doctor, a lawyer, but who, to who told you that you could sail a ship? The course that I'm doing, Logistics and Supply Chain Management, is actually a very unsaturated field. There's no one there, it's quite dilute. So I thought that this university offered that. I did some research, as well as the other fields that it offers, and so as commercial shipping and port operations. Those are not really fields that people really look into, and they're fields of the future. I started after graduation as a simulator instructor here, and I was employed a few months after to Exmar Ship Management, which is a liquefied petroleum gas carrier uh, management company. Going through all the courses, getting hands-on, going to factories, learning numerous amount of, st of stuff. Now I feel like I'm filled. I'm like, I came here as an empty barrel, and now I'm filled up with knowledge and experience and ready to go to, ta to tackle any organization, any challenges that I come up with. So. The students here were friendly. It's easy to get along or people in power, or supervisors, or lecturers, they're very approachable. The course is good, the school is, is in a great time transitioning to university. Come to CMU, be a part of the future. The students are very upbeat. Now you dare not tell one of them that they attend CMI, they correct and say CMU. 